And if you notice when I'm using this, I use the use this front edge. I don't use this edge going like that because you'll gouge up your part. So when I'm doing it, you'll see me. This is how I'm doing. I'm using this front edge part <laughs> most of the time. Now, it, sometimes I get in a radius and I have to use it like this. I try not to. When you're in a radius, you have to use this part of it to get in there. What I'm doing is I'm on the back of that bird, it's skinnier at the top, and the weight of the bird kind of gets more rounded. To the bottom so that's what I'm doing I'm tapering it down in the center and I'm taking this down where I can kind of round it some that's what I'm <laughs> dust mask instead of uh, inhaling all this stuff. <laughs> Right here with this big hole, I'm just going to fill that with some spray foam out of the can. I'm not going to try to take it out with this because then I'd be taking too much material away. That's just a repair that I got to make. No big deal. And then you can get your big shot back out here and start What you do, you just try to visualize the center line down it, and then you're looking at both sides. I mean, you could draw the center line, or you can visualize it in your head, just what I'm doing. I'm not concerned if I'm a little bit off, not a big deal. Oh, you see right here, that's definitely hot. I'm trying to get that rounded belly, that's what we're after.
So, that's pretty much my rough form for my uh, my hummingbird. As you can tell, that is going to be a big hummingbird. The wings, each wing is two feet. So that's a wingspan of four feet once they're installed in the beak and everything. So, okay, so the next video, um, make sure you come back to watch that because this is definitely going to be a playlist. So we got to get it hard coated, we got to slice it, put a metal armature in it, and then we'll put sculpting epoxy on it made by uh, Smooth On, and we'll start creating the feathers and everything.